Hi everybody, it is Friday the 26th of May, Stevie Nicks's birthday. Wadi's out there with her celebrating her birthday. They just celebrated his two days ago. Uh, lots of May babies here and also um, today with Ray Metz's birthday, who Ray Metz, when I first started doing session work, there was a cartage company in town that uh, is called Superior Cartage that Ray worked for and then eventually over the years started his own company with his partner Bob and it was R&R &R Express and they did almost every session I ever did. They would deliver and pick up the gear for it and it's his birthday today. He lives outside of uh, north of Vegas and we just talked for quite a while and reminisced and have so many great memories of the times we spent together. Uh, it was really great. Uh, been a crazy day today. Had plumbers here. Finally got the shower fixed properly and fixed a couple of other things and been doing yard work. And uh, I'm tired. I'm tired. You know, off to the um, uh, Amundsen Theater tonight for a play called A Soldier's Story. Because we've been season ticket holders to the Amundsen for decades upon decade. So tonight's that. And... Uh, I'm going to do this. I just finished a couple of birthday cameos, which I love doing that. You know, people send me things, you know, wish so-and-so, and, and they have like a special story they want me to tell and stuff. I really, really love doing this. And so that was fun. I'm going to uh, hunker down and get uh, Venmo and Zell going and, and a reader probably for doing book signings so I can go ahead and and take credit cards. <laughs> I never thought I'd be doing retail business. This is not, this is not what bass players do. <laughs> so it's, it's kind of crazy. But um, musically, I want to jump back into something that was really a fun project. We did an album in 1995 called Long Time No See with Takaro Yoshida uh, from Japan. Takaro is very much like Japan's James Taylor. Um, He's he's just an iconic person in the in the Japanese music scene, and he was at it since you know like when we all started. So did he. Um, he was born in '46, so he's just a touch older than than us. But um, let me see what it says here. Takaro Yoshida is a Japanese male singer songwriter. He was born on April fifth, nineteen forty six, in Okuchi, Kagoshima, and raised in Hiroshima. He made his debut with the single Imeji no Uta Mark II on June 1st, 1970, just about the time we were all getting started. It was a 1972 recording of Tabi no Yado, sold over one million copies in September of that year when was awarded a gold disc. He established the record company for Life Records with Yoshi Inoue, uh, Sigeru Izuyima, um, Izu and Hitoshi Komuro uh, in 1975. So, I got a call from him asking if we could do his his album. You know, they were going to be recording uh, at Compass Point Studios down in the Bahamas. And, they, you know, it was like one of these things like, absolutely, would, I'd love to do it. Um, there's quite a cast of characters on this one. The album was produced by um, Takaro Yoshida and co-produced by Craig Durge, our old keyboard player from the section. Um, it was arranged by Takaro and coordinated by Bob McGinnis, Tamo Ta Takamura, and Yasu Matsura. Uh, engineered by, uh, the mastering was done by Doug Sachs, engineered by Ed Cherney, Yuta Kage Kagema, and Tatsumi Taka, uh, Takagishi. Uh, uh, recording Joe Primo and uh, Tatsumi Takagishi were the uh, engineers for the recording. Um, uh, let's see, it, it was mastered at the Mastering Lab, mixed at Record Plant Studios in L.A., recorded at Compass Point Studios, recorded at the Record Plant in L.A., recorded at Akanuzaki Marine Studio, recorded at Paradise Studio Kom Komazawa. And uh, so it was around. We did all the basic tracking for the most part, though, in, at Compass Point. Uh, now I'm going to read off a whole list of all the players that were involved on this. Um, on bass, it was Akira Okazawa and myself traded um, bass duties on the album. Kiyoshi Kamada, Matsuyoshi Imazumi, and Russ Kunkel were the drummers. 
uh, Ken Yajima, Dean Parks, David Lindley, Takuro Yoshida, and Kazuhiko Matsuo were all the guitar players. Dean Parks and Eric Weisberg also did acoustic guitar. David Lindley did lap steel. Uh, Hajimo Takeda on keyboards, Craig Durge on electric piano, organ, and piano. Um, Yumiko Kamada also played piano. Joe Sublet on saxophone, Yuki Sagawara, Saga, Sagawara, I'm sorry, on percussion and the background vocals. This was a mixture of the Japanese uh, artists and also some of the, the folks from the group Venice. So we have uh, uh, Kazuhiko Matsuo, um, Junko Hirotani, Kip Lennon, Kiyoshi Hiyama, uh, Mark Lennon, Nicolette Larson, uh, Yashihiro Kido again. Uh, those were all the background singers. And then Takaro Yoshida was the vocalist on this album. It was really funny. So we finished the album. We did it. And then they caught and contacted a bunch of us and said, would you come to Japan and tour with us? So we, we all flew back over there. We rehearsed down near the, uh, the ocean, uh, the, uh, the harbor outside in Tokyo. Um, the thing that blew my mind was, uh, and she was so delightful, is um, uh, Yumiko uh, Kamada, the piano player. She was the littlest wisp that would go really great keyboard player, but just the tiniest little girl. And we'd all go out to dinner and she would eat everybody under the table. It was like, man, the guys would be like eating, going, I'm stuffed, and she'd go off and finish yours. <laughs> and just, I mean, I don't know where the hell she put it away, but man, I just remember so much. I would, we'd just look at her and go, what, how is this possible? You know, I want to drag her over for like one of those Nathan's hot dog eating contests or something, but she was, she was such a delight, so sweet and wonderful. And so we, we had a ball, and the tour was like, God, I think it was like, six or eight weeks throughout Japan. It was you know, all traveling by the bullet trains then. And um, Takuro just loved to go out and have dinners and drink. And so we went into one karaoke bar and uh, half the music in the karaoke bar was his music. And he's up there. Everybody got him drunk and said, you know, go sing. And he couldn't remember any of the words to his songs, even with the lyrics being prompted. Uh, a funny guy. I mean, we had so much fun. I remember we were rehearsing down, you know, at this waterfront. And uh, Waddy went in at one point to go to the bathroom. He's in the stall. And it had, this is early on when they had those fabulous toilet seats that just appeared. And I think Waddy was, uh, I don't know, he took a piss. I don't know. But he was standing in front of the toilet and looking for a flush thing. And he hit a button. And all of a sudden, this arm comes out, and it was a bidet. And we hear all this banging and yelling in the bathroom. And the thing is, like, he's standing in front of the toilet and he's just being showered with this warm water coming out of this bidet's attachment in the toilet. Just losing his shit, as they say, in that bathroom. It was, it was fantastic. I'll never forget that. But we had a great tour. I mean, Takaro and all the Japanese players that were involved it was a real mixture of the American and Japanese players. And the, uh, and the fan base that loves Takaro is really intense. It was really, really a great tour. So I found this, and I'm going to just play a couple of tracks. Now, I cannot get the, the, the titles. I, I don't have Translate in my uh, uh, laptop. I, I mean, I haven't loaded it up. I'm sure I could get it. But everything is, is written in, in Japanese iconography, so I really uh, can't say what the actual title of the song is. Maybe somebody will figure that out. Uh, this first song is called Whatever, and it was arranged by Takaro Yoshida. The lyric lyricist on this is uh, Senichi Ishihara, and the composer is Takaro Yoshida. So this is the unpronounceable song number one here. Here we go.
時のバケツはパーティーの後投げ捨てられた恋のアキリン Oh 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 Back when I was in high school, way back in those days, if there was a sock hop or something, that would have been a great song to do. There was a dance step called the Slossin. Yeah, that would have been a fun one to do it to. I never danced worth a crap. I was always in the band playing at the dances, <laughs> which was fine with me. Um, here's another unpronounceable one for me, because I don't know what it says and I don't have a thing, but I'm gonna go ahead and play it anyhow. So here we go. Takaro Yoshida. Long Time No See is the title of the album.
That was written um, by Takaro Yoshida. Uh, the lyricist on that was Yoko Aki, and the arrangement was by Takaro. Go find another one here for you. Another unpronounceable formula. Let's see. Um, this was arranged lyrics and music by Takaro Yoshida. So here we go. <laughs>
guy to work with too we had so much fun on that tour just as the combination of american and japanese players just everybody like bonded uh, on it heavily and just had a great great time together and takaro just really a pro just always went out and just put on a great great show i'll do one more here i think another unpronounceable let's see um, what info this one has uh, again this was all Composed the lyrics and music are all Takaro Yoshida. Okay. 
Long time no see Takaro Yoshida. Um, I hope I get to see Takaro again one of these days, go back to Japan. I tried to hook up with him when I was there with Van Dyke Parks and Grant Geisman, and he was out of town at the time, but I'd, I'd love to see him again. He was really a dear man. Um, so that's kind of kind of it for today. Um, again, just sad at the, uh, at the passing of Tina. It's amazing how many people's lives she touched on so many levels amazing amazing artist um but you know we're all going to be moving on at some point and you know she was in health in ill health so i'm glad it's if nothing else if she's at peace now if there was any suffering involved i'm glad that's behind her um so i'm going to get going i had crap a ton of stuff to do today out here um before i head to the amundsen tonight so i'm going to wish everybody a fabulous day uh, what there is left of it. Some are early in it, some are way late in it and stuff, but I'll, I'll try to be back tomorrow and uh, and we'll take it from there. But uh, yeah, it's always rough doing these ones because I feel like it's like some kid at school, but he's outside looking in the window just because you don't know the language. And so many people would say, he's such a great lyricist, you know, that I really understand. Like with Veronique Sanson, when I was with her, people say she's one of the best lyricists in France, but don't speak French, so is that her on a VC when we were you know doing her album and there's stuff in Greek and it just goes on and on. It's always that little like you're one step removed from the really the magic of the thing when you can't speak the language. But uh it's my fault, not there, so I better get off my butt and go learn some languages. Not too late for me, I think. So take good care. I'll see you later. Bye.